everyone, I'm Marissa Runyon. I'm here with my friend and celebrity stylist, Erin Walsh. And she has styled some of the most amazing and beautiful women in Hollywood. Her clients include Alison Brie, Carrie Washington, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Sarah Jessica Parker, so many amazing women. And so we're talking about SAG Awards. Yeah, we're talking fashion. From last night. Yeah. So first of all, tell us about last night and Alison Brie's amazing gown. It's so funny, this happens very rarely that you find a dress early and it's just oddly perfect and all the stars line up that it, it works out. This dress was like, I, I saw it maybe a month ago and I knew it was like that that was the one. And literally the, we got two options from Yumu. It was that one and another one and we saw this one and there was, I usually have a rule actually, um, and Allison's publicist was the one who put this in my head first, but I sort of abide by it in terms of like not no black on red carpet. Like I, d I do it very very seldom at this point. But this dress, it and like why do you have that rule? I'm because so like a lot of times with a black dress, you sort of look like X person's wife or like producer or not that those are bad things, <laughs> but I it just it doesn't speak. It doesn't quite. stand out. And in a sea of photos, it tends to be the one that gets lost. That's right? a good rule. Yeah. Um, but this one, I wanted to do a cape forever. I am such a girl. I love bows, giant bows, everything very feminine. But I also wanted it something that felt incredibly fashion and mm -hmm. incredibly streamlined and modern and chic. It did. It was and all this of those like things. checked all of those boxes. And on her beautiful figure, it just was like heaven. The one trick was the bow because if you're wearing something that large mm -hmm. it could risk looking like bat wings or you know fairy princess or too costumey so we had to that took several alterations to get exactly right I'm having so much fun in this Mew Mew dress I have to show you the back so how was the bow attached to the gown the bow was attached at the neck so it had kind of like a choker-esque secured on the side like above the collarbone my mother said it looks like it's strangling me but I beg to differ which was nice because it wasn't coming off anywhere. It also attached on the back behind like hidden straps. Oh, um, so she was really in there. She was locked in there, <laughs> yeah. A lot of times we hear about celebrities being sewn into their dress. It's the weirdest thing in fashion. You can have the most couture gown in the world and a zipper will break. It has nothing to do with the construction or the design or what have you. It just, it happens. Anyways, um, we had made the delightful decision in advance to have the tailor from Yumi with us yesterday, um, this remarkably talented gentleman who, as we were zipping up the zipper, it, you know, broke, and <laughs> he sewed it right up, and it was fine. <laughs> so she's in there, so to take that dress off, it's involving Oh yeah, you have to get point. home and cut it off, basically. That's wild. I love it so much. I love it. Tell me a little bit about what the vibe is like getting a client ready. Obviously, yesterday you were with Allison. Honestly, when you have all the parts in motion, it it's just, it, it does depend on the day and what the stakes are and, and who it is and what they might be nervous about and why, but you do so much prep work. I, f I feel like it's the same whether you're an actor, a producer, a director, you're making a film, you're making a moment on the red carpet. If you have the parts in motion all lined up and you're, you've had it fit correctly, you have, even if, like if you have things like jewelry decided in advance, I think that helps because stylists always get the l least amount of time when you're actually getting someone ready in the end. Hair makeup does their thing, they do right. their thing, and that takes time, you know, to, to make it perfect. But stylists usually like, two to five minutes and then because everybody's always running late um so that part's always like go 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 yeah it, it was very calm lovely lots of wonderful conversation it's just a little bit of hanging out before they get to go be cinderella and i go home <laughs> i feel like the sag awards really was um, fun this year it was fun and i um I was really excited, like that Yara Shahidi looked so freaking cute. So glad you said that, I loved her. I loved that, I loved um, just how like chic and understated Margot Robbie and Rachel Weisz were. I thought Lady Gaga looked impeccable. She looked gorgeous. I wanted to take her home with me. <laughs> I thought Timothy Chalamet looked like the cute, I just, think he's a total genius what he's doing on red carpet and it's all himself he does it he all. does it himself he does it all i did not know yeah, that oh my gosh i just have an like adorable little fashion prince tripled respect for that him. kid yeah he's, he's really killing it who else who are your favorites uh yara yeah. yara shahidi yara amazing allison yeah, um, yeah. I, I love people who take risks and have she fun she took my breath away last and night honestly they, allison. they both just they brought a smile to my face yeah. and that's what that's what yeah. it's all about it's like who really gets you excited and makes you smile it's, yeah that's what it's about so yeah. no that's the point yeah it should be fun that should be that's fun that's the idea who's having more fun than me nobody <laughs>